Did Hezekiah, the king of Judah, believe in the Trinity? In the Catholic image. Displaying the Trinity faith, we shockingly see how most of Christianity have adopted the main Catholic faith. Who believe God is three separate persons together. Which, when we admit the truth, actually equals three separate gods. But could I, simple Simon, a simple man off the street, be wrong, and the Trinity faith be right? I am not a Bible scholar, but does that help? Find two Bible scholars who agree on everything. Thank God for his word in the Bible, so we can see what's true or false, providing we don't read the countless false Trinitarian translations. How is it possible millions upon millions, which is most of Christianity, be wrong? 1 John 4.1 tells us, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And Paul tells us, But test all things, hold fast to the good. 1 Theologians 5.21 Let's test the Trinity faith with the Word of God. Let's now turn to a great man of faith in God. His name is Hezekiah, who was the king of Judah, who did a great deed by destroying idolatry and pagan gods in Judah. In 2 Kings 18, we are told about this good man. Now it happened in the third year of Hoshea son of Ela king of Israel, that Hezekiah the son of Ahaz king of Judah began to reign. He was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Abi the daughter of Zechariah. He did that which was right in the eyes of Yahweh, according to all that David his father had done. He removed the high places, and broke the pillars, and cut down the Asherah, and he broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made, for to those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. He trusted in Yahweh, the God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor among them that were before him. For he joined with Yahweh, he didn't depart from following him, but kept his commandments, which Yahweh commanded Moses. As we see, Hezekiah removed the pagan gods and shrines and altars, as also told in 2 Chronicles 31.1 and for the time being destroyed idolatry. Notice in 2 Kings 19.15 we read Hezekiah prayed before Yahweh and said Yahweh the God of Israel who sit above the cherubim you are the God even you alone of all the kingdoms of the earth you have made heaven and earth. We see how Hezekiah prayed before Yahweh and said Yahweh is one God and God alone. But what made Hezekiah say alone? To be alone simply means to be by myself and no one beside me. Were there also Trinity false gods that Hezekiah destroyed? We do know Trinity false gods, which is one God as three persons, which is the identical concept with the Trinity faith today, were worshipped throughout Europe.
Why did God command his people to pray twice a day saying God is one? As we read in Deuteronomy 6.4 saying Hear Israel, Yahweh is our God, Yahweh is one. Was God's commandment to his people saying they must pray daily saying Yahweh is one proof they were worshipping Trinity gods. Notice the greatest commandment in Deuteronomy 6. These words which I command you this day shall be on your heart and you shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. Notice the great faith of Hezekiah and how God blesses those who follow and know he is the one true God alone. We read Hezekiah praying. Now therefore, Yahweh our God, save us, I beg you, out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, Yahweh, are God alone. It happened that night that the angel of Yahweh went out and struck 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. When men arose early in the morning, behold, these were all dead bodies. It is very interesting how Hezekiah makes a point in saying, you are the God, even you alone. Just as it is very interesting to why God commanded his people to pray twice a day saying Yahweh is one. There is absolutely no verse in the whole Bible saying or teaching God is three persons called the Trinity. So it is very obvious God is saying he is one person, Yahweh is one. Conclusion We see how Hezekiah's prayer before Yahweh saying You are the God, even you alone on its own destroys the foundations of the Trinity faith who say God is not God alone proved and confirmed with their own hands by the Trinity diagrams. But is three persons together which when truthfully admitted equals three gods side by side. As God commanded his people to make the Shema Jewish prayer the first and greatest commandment to pray twice a day saying Yahweh is one which is confirmed by Jesus in the New Testament of Mark 12 29 also saying believing God is one person is the first and greatest commandment that all must believe is evidence the Trinity faith are breaking the first and greatest commandments daily. Could the Trinity and those who believe Jesus is God and a pre-existing being be one of the main reasons why Jesus said he will say to many who call him Lord I do not know you Matthew 7 22 to 23 King Hezekiah's faith is clearly an example of a monotheistic religion who bears witness to a single God being and person and never ever a triad threesome free gods.
we have tested the Trinity faith with the Word of God and have again found the main Catholic faith contradicting the Word of God. As Hezekiah has said and understood, God is God alone, which simply means God is uniquely, exclusively one God and one being and one person on his own. Why do most of Christianity refuse the biblical facts when presented with the straightforward uncomplicated truth and cannot understand the simple truth? Could the answer be because the Trinity is not a mystery but a conspiracy? This is the Eye of the Providence. Ask a non-Catholic Christian what they believe this all-seeing eye represents. Well, that's what I did with an old Trinitarian friend and Bible teacher, and he told me the all-seeing eye is demonic, and I told him it apparently represents your Catholic Shield of the Trinity diagram, and the Catholics admit on their website the all-seeing eye here represents the Trinity. The Trinity Deception When will it end? Probably when Jesus will say, I do not know you. It was shown to you, so that you might know, that Yahweh is God, there is no one else, besides him, Deuteronomy 4.35.